viewers in my previous videos i had used those one hour of code exercises offered by code.org for developing children's initial interest in programming and now i will be introducing scratch scratch is a programming language for children uh, developed by mit mit is known for offering free courses for adults and this initiative for children is simply outstanding children can make games animations cartoons and stories using this uh, amazing programming language called scratch and they can even do robotics with it so let's start with scratch i will be giving the link uh, to this website the scratch website in the video description as you can see it says scratch.mit.edu so you can see that it has been developed by mit so the first thing you have to do is that you have to join scratch uh, when you click on join scratch it will take you to a page uh, where you have to provide a username once you have provided uh, your information such as username uh, and uh, your age uh, that is also important and your parents email address um, because the reason for providing the parents email address is that they need confirmation you can start creating on scratch without confirming the parents email address and the, by, without confirming the account uh, but you cannot share whatever you develop uh, or create here with your friends um, unless you confirm your scratch account so i would recommend that you confirm it so that you know uh, once children start creating they would like to share their um, creativity and they the stories and animations with their friends okay so i will just sign in here because i'm already a member okay and then i will go to create so, so this is the editor or the the place where you create your projects your programming projects such as animations cartoons or games so you must be familiar with these uh, programming blocks by now if you have seen my previous vi videos uh, um, about minecraft uh, that one hour of code exercise with uh, minecraft and flappy bird so uh, even code.org was using these programming blocks the advantage of using programming blocks is that they are very colorful and um, um, they fit like you drag them to this place which is the workspace and you drag them and they fit each other like a puzzle and i will be explaining more about this later so these are the programming blocks that you that you will be using to make your uh, program this is the place where you will be making your program. This is your workspace. This is basically just like a, um, an artist's or a painter's canvas where they paint. So you will be writing your program here. And uh, this is a sprite. A sprite is basically a programming construct. It doesn't really mean a fairy or an elf. If you look inside the dictionary, that is the literal meaning of a sprite. But in programming, a sprite means um, any character, which can be an animal or a person, that can, you know, you make them move on the screen. Uh, you can make them talk, fight, move around. So all those characters that you see in games like Mario Brothers, uh, Mario is, uh, is, is a sprite. So his brother is also a sprite. So um, all those characters that move about in games are called sprites and this white area it's not it doesn't have any color right now but this is called the background or the backdrop. So you can change the sprite from this area this character you can change it from this area this is the sprite area and you can change this the backdrop which is basically your stage where your artist that is your your sprites will be performing so that is your stage so you can change the backdrops the from here so um, another thing is that all these uh, programming blocks you can see that they have different colors 
so blue represents motion so all the movement blocks all the movement uh, programming blocks are color coded blue so whenever you're looking for a, a programming block that you want to use to make a character move you have to look inside the blue uh, blue uh, blocks okay you will find it there the purple color represents the looks programming blocks so what do we mean by look look means you can change the costume basically the look means the look of the sprite so you can change its size you can change its color and you can switch the costume that is change the costume uh, to some other costume and i will be explaining more about this later sound so no game or animation or cartoon is uh, complete without sound gone are the days of silent movies so these are the sounds you can play sound and, and you know all things related to uh, sound sound uh, is in the pink color coded programming blocks and the yellow color represents the event blocks the event programming blocks are for the user's interaction with your game or with your sprites uh, from sprite i mean the cat or some other sprite here so when you click on the sprite this is an event when you click on this green flag this is also an event when you press a, a key on the keyboard such as a space bar or some other key such as the up arrow down arrow these are all events and in games we need to capture these events we need to find out when the user uh, presses the space bar or any other key so when we capture it then we have to uh, do something based on that event so these are for that uh, these are the programming blocks for capturing those events and then we come to the control blocks in the orange color the control blocks are for controlling the way the game or the program is working it can be a delay in the Uh, in the game um, and we need them uh, in animations or when we have to to pause and then do something so you then add a delay here um, it can be a loop um, remember i introduced loops to you uh, when we were doing minecraft that instead of doing uh, of uh, writing the same line of code uh, again and again we can use loops um it is kind of similar to what we use multiplication for multiplication instead of doing repeated addition we do multiplication so similar to that instead of writing the same line of code uh, again and again you can actually tell how many times it should be done and then you can even have a loop which goes on forever and then these are very very important the if uh, if and if else uh, blocks these are conditions that when something is true do do this thing and these are important um um for example um, when we did um, the the flappy bird game uh, so we were putting conditions in there that um when the when the bird hits the ground then do this thing uh, when the bird uh, hits the obstacles then do this thing so these those were all kind of uh, if else condition blocks okay so let's proceed now uh, with our first project uh, i will be uh, explaining a very short and interesting way um, of learning scratch and we will be animating a name we will be choosing a a short name not a very long name because otherwise the video will become too long so we will be doing um the name ben just like ben 10 so and we will be animating each letter of um, ben that is b e n n and we will be doing something different with each of these letters okay 
so uh, let's begin animating the name so in this case every letter of the name that is b e and n are all sprites because remember i defined sprites as uh, characters now they don't have to be living things they can be anything which we can um, uh, move using the using our programming code and our programming blocks so those letters are also sprites so how do we add first of all we need to delete the sprite this cat hair because uh, there's no point of having um, the cat hair and we are going to be putting a name here so first we will delete the sprite by uh, pressing the dustbin and uh, let's add a colorful backdrop here first um you can see uh, when i clicked on uh, choose a backdrop let me come here again so when i come to the backdrop the stage area and when i click on plus here i can you know paint my own backdrop too and this is this is uh, very exciting for for some children who like drawing so they want to customize their own game uh, by drawing their own uh, backgrounds otherwise they have uh, a lot of material resources uh, already available so we are going to choose something which is already available and i'm going to just uh, click on this button choose a backdrop and you can see that there are many uh, backgrounds or backdrops already available here it can be the beach or Jurassic, a room, school, spaceship. So the, this is they are showing all the backdrops here, and we can actually choose uh, if we know what is in our mind that you know we want to make um, a cartoon related to a school. So um, that would be indoors, and uh, if I um, want to make a story about space, then. i will choose space okay so let's use the spaceship because you know benten is all about the aliens and spaceship so let's choose the spaceship okay so now we have a backdrop and now we need to add a sprite so for adding a sprite we will click on this cat shaped uh, button with the plus on it and it says it it helps you by telling you that it means choose a sprite so just click on it and here we go we have this this list of all these sprites already available this is a list of all sprites so no uh, no search filtering here but we can filter our results by you know choosing animals fantasy music food and what we really need right now are the letters so i'm going to click on that and i will be choosing ben so let's do b here so here we go so this b here i'm going to just put reposition it by dragging it very simple very easy just dragging okay so you can see this b here and this is the this is the place where we will be programming for b every sprite will have its own programming space so what will we be doing with b first of all we need the event when this sprite clicked So when this sprite is clicked this means that when this b is clicked uh, whatever comes after this programming block should be done so it could be a change in color a change in size or maybe something uh, regarding the backdrop it can be anything so uh, what will we be doing with b i think we should try changing its color so let's drag this change color effect by 25 here so this i found in the looks block because we are changing the look of the sprite now in programming uh, in programming languages uh, every color has a a particular color uh, number 
so what we will be doing is that we will be changing whatever color it has right now by the number 25 so let's click on it it has turned green and when I click on it again it will again change its color because this is what is happening when this right click just change whatever color it has right now by 25 so it will keep on changing color uh, whenever I click on it so you can see it is that you know it's going through all these multiple colors how exciting okay so we're done with B and let's uh, get the other letter which is E and the the procedure or the process to get the second sprite is the same we we again click on this choose a sprite button go to letters and choose E so here we go now this is the E programming area okay so I'm just going to drag and put E uh, next to B so what is the starting point the event when this sprite clicked okay so what should be done how about we make it you know sound play a sound like the meow okay so I'm going to drag the sound from the pink sound uh, sound blocks I'm going to drag the uh, I dragged actually I, I had already done it so play sound meow until done Okay, so when I will click on it, it should play the meow sound. This is the default uh, meow sound, uh, 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 meow sound uh, inside Scratch, and we can even uh, record our own sounds, uh, our own voice, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, but we can do it later. I will be exploring many interesting things in Scratch, so don't worry. You know, I will do everything with you. I will explain everything. Okay, so uh, here we have E, and when I should, when I should, you know, press or click on it, it should play the meow sound. So let's do it. Here we go. We heard the meow sound. So B is changing its color on clicks, and E is playing the meow sound. Okay. Now the last letter. Click on uh, choose a sprite letters and n let's put the n in its proper place and i was thinking of doing something interesting with n how about we change its size we make it grow bigger and then we may it uh, come back to its previous size so um to uh increase its, its size smoothly I will be using a control block first of all we need the event block or, um, that is the first starting point that when this sprite clicked what should be done so what we are going to do is we are going to put a repeat a loop that increase its size okay we are going to go to Oh, sorry I'm going to go to looks because we are increasing its size so we are we have to go to the purple one the looks block and change size by 10 see so what will happen if I do this thing let's try it so it has grown bigger but I want to come uh, make it come back to its previous size so I'm going to put another loop and uh, in the control I will do the repeat 10 again and uh, I will be bringing it back to its previous size and for that I need to change its size not by 10 because that uh, is for increasing we will be doing it now minus 10 a negative number so what is the program saying that when this sprite is clicked change size by 10 and then uh, increase it in 10 steps um, in increments of 10 um, and then bring it back to its previous size okay so there's a slight problem with this program because uh, 
in fact i will show you what's the problem with that and i will explain to you what happened so if i click on it this is what happened see i put the uh, bringing it back size block later so it was already big in size and then it grew bigger because it this uh, this programming part was executed again it was run again so it grew bigger and then it came back to its previous size which was which was still uh, bigger than the original size so how to fix this problem okay so programming is also about fixing your bugs or errors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just to make this program work smoothly I'm just going to take away the positive uh, incre increase in size block and just run this once so that it comes back to its previous size so let's see now see it just decreased in size and now let's put our final code that change repeat 10 times change its size by 10 that increase its size by 10 because size is also a number so increase its size uh, by 10 in 10 steps and then after you have done it just decrease its size again by 10 so that it's back to its previous position so now let's look at, at our code uh, at our animation of our name so B is changing its color. E is meow is saying meow. And look at N. It grew bigger and it went back to its previous size. So let me show you another interesting thing before uh, before I wrap up this video. Uh, whenever uh, another thing when I have to uh, do programming for a particular sprite, I just come here and choose it. So this is E programming uh, area and this is I want to, to change something in N so I'm going to choose N from the sprite area and here we go so we have this uh, loop here so uh, I thought that I should show you uh, the the delay uh, control block that if I just add a delay here look it just fits like a puzzle here Okay, so just drag and fit it here, the weight one second, below the change size by 10. Okay, and let's see the difference uh, made by this change. So, what is happening here? Repeat 10 times, change size by 10, increase the size by 10, and then wait for one second, and then go back to the loop. Again, change its size by 10, increase it by 10, and then wait one second so this we have added a delay a waiting time some time in this loop and this one is the, the same uh, I've, I haven't made any changes here so it will behave the same way so let's see the difference of, of the delay so I'm just click I will just click on N and look it's now becoming bigger in one second uh, time gaps okay and it, it went back the same way in, in a fast way so I hope you like this video and uh, you have learned some interesting things in it and um, I've introduced the, um, the scratch uh, interface uh, the programming blocks the workspace the backdrop and the sprites and how to change sprites and how to change the backdrops. So in next videos, we will be exploring more of Scratch. Thank you for watching this video. Do like it and share with your friends and family. Goodbye.